Hello everyone, if you haven't heard, today I'm going to tell you about a new star in the tech world, Blue, NVIDIA's latest robot, which was just introduced at the GTC 2025 event in San Jose on March the 18th, 2025. The YouTube video, Say Hello to NVIDIA latest robot, named Blue, has the tech community buzzing, and it's not hard to see why. Let's explore what Blue is, what it does, and why it's relevant to AI robotics, and quantum computing. First, we'll watch it interact with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. Then we'll analyze and comment on it. Tell me that wasn't amazing. Hey, Blue. How are you doing? How do you like, how do you like your new physics engine? You like it, huh? Yeah, I bet. I know. Tactile feedback. Rigid body, soft body, simulation, super real time. Can you imagine just now what you were looking at is com complete real time simulation? This is how we're gonna train robots in the future. Uh, just so you know, Blue has uh, two computers, two NVIDIA computers inside. Look how smart you are. Yes, you're smart. Okay. All right. Hey, Blue, listen. How about let's take them home? Let's finish this keynote. It's lunchtime. Are you ready? Let's finish it up. We have another announcement. To <laughs> You're good. You're good. Just stand right here. Stand right here. Stand right here. All right, good. Right there. That's good. All right, Stan. Okay, we have another amazing news. I told you the progress of our robotics has been making enormous progress. And today we're announcing that Groot N1 is open sourced. I wanna thank all of you to come to, to get, Let's wrap up. I want to thank all of you for coming to GTC. We talked about several things. One, Blackwell is in full production. And the ramp is incredible. Customer demand is incredible. And for good reason. Because there's an inflection point in AI, the amount of computation we have to do in AI is so much greater as a result of reasoning AI and the training of reasoning AI systems and agent, agentic systems. Second, Blackwell NVLink 72 with Dynamo is 40 times the performance, AI factory performance of Hopper. And inference is going to be one of the most important workloads in the next decade as we scale out AI. Third, we have an annual, annual rhythm of roadmaps that has been laid out for you so that you could plan your AI infrastructure and then we have two, we have three AI infrastructures we're building. AI infrastructure for the cloud, AI infrastructure for enterprise, and AI infrastructure for robots. <laughs> we have one more treat for you. Play it. Blue GTC debuts in big style. In his GTC 2025 keynote, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang had the audience on edge when he introduced Blue, a small, cute robot that looks like it just stepped out of a Star Wars movie. Blue isn't a commercial product you can buy, but a research robot developed by NVIDIA in collaboration with Google DeepMind and Disney Research. Huang had Blue parade on stage with waddling steps, cheerful beeps, and funny nods, making the audience immediately pull out their phones to record. Blue is equipped with two NVIDIA computers inside, running on Newton, a new open-source physics engine, expected to launch by the end of 2025. According to Huang, Newton is how we're going to train robots in the future, enabling hyper-realistic real-time simulations for robots to learn how to move and interact with the physical world. Blue's abilities, 
tiny but mighty, despite being only about 30-40 centimeters tall, estimated from the video. Blue demonstrates incredible mobility thanks to Newton. It can not only walk, but also turn around, respond to Huang's commands like, go home, and even make communication sounds. On X, user at Hodloff exclaimed, this is not CGI, this is a real robot. NVIDIA's Blue is awesome. Blue's movements are inspired by droids in Star Wars, like BB-8 or 2D2, but optimized with advanced AI and physics. Blue is more than just a toy for the stage. It represents a step forward in physical AI, the combination of artificial intelligence and the ability to operate in the real world. Newton, developed with Google DeepMind and Disney, allows for precise simulations of how robots interact with forces, gravity, and the environment, something Disney plans to use to upgrade its park entertainment robots, like the BDX droid that debuted at SXSW 2025. What is quantum computing? The video title mentions quantum computing, but Blue, itself, is not a quantum robot. However, at GTC 2025, NVIDIA also announced the accelerated quantum research center, NBOC, in Boston, where it will combine i supercomputers with quantum hardware to solve problems like qubit interference. Blue may be an example of how NVIDIA is using its computing power, including future quantum research, to train robots more effectively. On X, at Enigma Metaverse wrote, Blue is a demonstration of NVIDIA's hyper-realistic simulation technology, the future of AI and robotics is here. The meaning of blue, blue is not for sale, but a stage for NVIDIA to show off its core technologies, Newton physics engine, open source, helps robots learn to move more accurately through physics simulation. Groot in one, I model foundation for humanoid robots, launched on the same day, which blue can be an initial demonstration, when combined with Newton, general robot vision, NVIDIA wants robots to not only work in factories but also become companions. Like how Disney uses Blue to enhance the entertainment experience. Compared to Boston Dynamics Atlas or Unitree's G1, Blue is smaller and does not have the ability to do acrobatics or carry heavy loads. But it is the first step in using simulated eye to train robots, a direction that competitors have not focused on. On X, at Papapunyatma, commented, Blue reminds me of a robot in a 90s movie, simple but full of potential. Nvidia's Blue was a little gem at GTC 2025. Not only is it cute, but it also represents the company's grand ambitions for combining AI, robotics, and physics simulation. While it's not yet a commercial robot, it does offer a glimpse into the future of smarter, more flexible machines. What do you think of Blue? Would you like to see it in the real world? Let us know what you think, and we'll see what NVIDIA does next with this, Star.